Good day to you, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. My topic for today is, do you know the ancient path? And I'm referring to this amazing passage that I came across many years ago, and it's taken from Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16. And this is what it says. It says, stand by the crossroads, look and ask for the ancient path, where the good way is, and walk in it and find rest for your soul. Now, what is this ancient path that Jeremiah was talking about in chapter 6? It says here, stand at the crossroads, look, and then ask. Why? Because in ancient times, when people used to travel, they didn't have GPS, they didn't have ways like what we have today, and we can just like key in a location, and then it just takes you instantly to the location. It'll even tell you how many minutes before you reach. Well, in ancient times, they didn't have all that. They didn't even have road maps. They didn't have signages that are at the side of the road that tells you 200 meters, you will reach a particular area. They didn't have that. So how did they travel at that time? When people used to travel, during ancient times when they come to a particular crossroad that is what Jeremiah 6 says stand at the crossroad when they come to a crossroad and they're not sure of their direction they do not know whether they need to turn right or left what would they do Jeremiah says stand there look and ask for the ancient path which means they will stand and they would wait they would wait for somebody to walk past, somebody who has walked through that particular path before and they would stop that person and ask, excuse me, are you familiar with these roads? I'd like to go to Jerusalem. Which path am I supposed to take? Am I supposed to go right? Am I supposed to go left? Or am I supposed to go straight ahead? That is what they would ask. And when that person gives them the direction, then they continue on their journey. Now, why am I sharing this with you today? A lot of us in our lives go through crossroads. They, we come to certain situations in our life where we come to a particular cross, crossroad, sorry, crossroad, okay? We come to a particular crossroad and we're just not sure which way to go. And when you're unsure, we need to seek the Holy Spirit because a lot of us in our lives sometimes, we tend to rush into situations and we make emotional decisions. Oh, I think this is the right way. I might as well go in that direction. But if we go in the wrong direction, we may just end up going round in circles so God says stand wait and ask the first thing we should do is ask the Holy Spirit Lord I am at a crossroad Holy Spirit begin to guide me begin to direct me in every area of my life and tell me which path I should take another person you can ask are people who are much older to you who are walking in the Lord your pastors, your leaders, people who are in the word of God and can give you sound advice according to God's promises. I want to encourage all of you today, if you are at a crossroad, stop. Stand at that crossroad. Do not rush through a decision. Maybe some of you here who are listening to this message today, you need to make certain decisions and people are pressuring you. Come on, tell us, decide. Do you want it? Is it a yes or is it a no? Do not rush into something that may take you down a wrong path. I pray that you will stand at this crossroad and you will begin to look and ask God and once God has established something in your spirit and you know for sure that it is from God then take your next step so remember Jeremiah 6 16 stand at the crossroads look and ask for the ancient path where the good way is because it says that when you walk in it the final part it says when you walk in it you will find rest for your soul how many of you want rest in your soul today? How many of you are feeling restless in the situation today? When you seek God as your crossroads, you will find rest. And I pray today that this message has blessed you. You will find rest in your soul and you will walk the path that God has designed for you to walk. Because when you walk according to that path, your miracle, your blessing, your destiny is waiting there for you. God bless you and have a good day. Amen.